possibly armed. Request immediate backup. Keep speeding! You gotta check it out, tear it up! Thanks. Hold it! Hey, easy, fella, easy! Hold it! Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Easy! Put it down! Put the gun down! Hi, I need a, a Jennifer Langley's room. She came in about 11 o'clock. Motorcycle accident. She's on the fifth floor east wing. Uh, uh, Just take the elevator up. Uh, oh! Just... I'm so just please just stay here and do nothing. If you do nothing, nothing can go wrong. I've got to take care of my family now. The nurse says that it's not a coma, that she's just, she's just sort of taking time out. But we haven't seen a doctor yet, so I don't... Dr. Jacobson? Yes? We need you urgently in OR3. No can do, I'm doing number four at one. Sir, it's urgent. We have a ruptured kidney and massive bleeding. <sighs> okay. Yes, it's urgent. What's happening? Surgeon's on his way up. At last, Doctor B. Hello, Doctor. We've got a 45-year-old male, type B negative, brought in by paramedics 10 minutes ago. He's got a penetrating injury to the left chest. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Gotta get him in there right now. Doctor, it looks like a bullet in the lower thorax. It seems to have ruptured the lung and there's severe inner bleeding along the abdomen. Doctor, he's coming too. All right, give him a T70. Got it. <laughs> Shall I extend the incision, sir? We've taken it from the breastbone to the diaphragm. We may have to extend further to get to the spleen. <laughs> Sorry, sir, it's only my first week. <laughs> no, you're right, Doctor. We should wait for the x-rays. Oh, no, no. Help! We are losing this guy up here! For Jesus' sake, we need help! Watch he doesn't go into hemodynamic shock. We'll be right back. Where did you 
wig, sir. Nice work in there, people. Now back to the bleeding. Where's this blood coming from? We gotta clamp it off. Where the hell's that J17? What happened? We need that J17 and OR4 right now. We got a major trouble. There's too much blood, I can't see a thing. EMS is 14 over 20. suction. Crazy the bleeding. Somebody check that line. The pressure's bottoming out. Okay, hook me up at 12, Give please. Now. Oh, His heart rate is dropping. We're gonna lose it. Yeah, 14 gauge. How's the TMS? Come on, people. He's crashing on us. Yeah. I'm not getting a reading. Where is this fool? Hang in there, fellas. Come on, hold on to him. We don't find it. He's a dead man. I am not gonna lose this guy. He's slipping. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, we're, we're losing him. I've got to get in there now. <laughs> well, Doctor, you can't just... Oh, this is too dangerous. Stabilizing. Blood pressure climbing back. <laughs> oh, doctor, thank God my daughter was in an accident. No one's even taken a look at her yet. We're desperate for some medical attention in here. Would you mind? Honey, the doctor will check her out. Oh, thank God. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Langley, um, any kind of damage to the brain is a very sensitive thing to observe, so maybe we should just step outside and give the doctor a little room to work. The first nurse said we shouldn't think of it as a coma, but more like a deep sleep. Yes, that's sort of true. Could I ask you a question? Um... Jennifer, wakey, wakey, breakfast's ready. Jennifer. What time is it? It's almost two. Can you turn the clock back about 12 hours for me? Sure. I don't know what to say about Bean. He's clearly a Force 10 disaster area, but... God, help me. I like him. Now, having said that, there is no reason in the world why any of you should ever have anything to do with him again. <laughs> Bruises, collarbone, he'll be fine till I get my hands on him. Hey, okay, hey doctor, where, where are you going? Here? You're going. <laughs> How can we ever say oh, thank you? No, you've made us so happy. Tell us, what can we do? We'll do anything. Anything. Well, I suppose you could let me stay another week. Mm-hmm. 